I'm going to make this flower uh, hanging thing and for that I'm using my loop de doo If you don't have this machine you can use two safety pins. I'm using a cheap embroidery yarn and I parted it in two so there is three strings in each of these. I have four strings that is three times the length of my loop de dupe machine. Then I have one string that is four times the length of my loop de dupe machine. The easy way will be to collect all uh, five strings in one end and find the middle of that. And yes, you will have four strings that is shorter. But you can also do it like I did here. I found the middle point on the long string and I'm taking the smaller ones and finding where one length is for these. And I'm putting them together by the middle point like that. And I'm placing them in an alligator barret like I show you here a little before the middle of this. And I'm going to braid a tiny braid for the top piece on the flower hanger. And I'm speeding this up a tiny bit. I braid a piece that is around two centimeters. And then I'm carefully going to take it off the alligator buried, putting the two ends together like you see me do here. And I'm going to make a knot at the end of the braided piece. I remove my alligator barret and I place this little loop on there. If you don't have this loop de doo then you can use the safety pin and place it on something in front of you. Then I find the four smaller threads and I'm going to cut one of these off right under the knot that we just made. I take one of the shorter strings and I put it into my alligator buried at the bottom of this uh, loop de doo And again, if you don't have a loop de doo then you make a little knot at the end of this and put in a safety pin. Place a safety pin on your t-shirt so that you can stretch out the string. I take two of the longer strings and put the other strings away from my work area. Now we come to the knot that we need to tie. Start with the left string and bring it over your middle string. Take your right string, place it over the left string, under the middle string and through the loop. Now pull carefully in the strings and bring the knot to the top of your work and make the knot all over again. Make sure your middle thread is always stretched out so that your knot will slide easy up to the top of your work. If you always place the left thread on top of your middle string, then you will get this uh, curling effect of uh, the done result. I like my result to be around 10 centimeters. So I just take the middle string out of the alligator barret. If you're using the safety pin, then take it out from there. Now I take the next small thread of the threads that I have left and I put that into my alligator barret. And I make the exact same thing on this string. I do this on all three strings so they have the same length. And then I'm going to make a knot at the end of these, just like I show here. Make sure it's really tightened. And now you can cut off the excess string, leave a little of it and take it off your machine or off your uh, safety pin.
If you want beats in your string, then place them on the middle string before you put them uh, on your machine or on your safety pin. Just take one of the beats when you want to place it and keep making the knots just like if it wasn't there. Make sure it's really tightened and good in there. As I want this in the ceiling of my room box, I'm going to take the lid for it. And I'm going to place this pin right here and I'm just gluing it in with some white glue. And I make sure it will dry all the way up before I continue working on this. Then I have this eye pin or ball pin and I found a drill that matched the size of that and I'm going to drill a hole through the pin that I just glued into the lid. I place this from the top and down I bend it to the side to make sure it's all in there and then I cut it off in the length so I can make a little loop for hanging the flower thing in there. I 3D printed this part and I will leave a link for the file for this if you want to print it. But I did change the part a bit so it's not that tall as you see right here. Now I just hang it on the hook I made earlier and it's ready for a flower. And I hope to make the flower next week. See you soon and happy crafting.